Hello, welcome to math on your e-learning day. My name is Miss Gilman. For those of you that haven't met me yet, it is great to meet you. I'm gonna show you how to do some multiplication today. So we're gonna practice a couple multiplication problems. I'm just gonna do a couple with you, but you can do as many samples as you want. So the first thing that we're gonna do, I'm gonna refocus my camera here because it's a little fuzzy. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do a two digit times one digit number. Now, if you ever wanna practice your multiplication facts and you have some dice, roll the dice and that'll give you your numbers you're gonna multiply. Easy, fun way to do it. So we're gonna start with 32 times seven. If I'm gonna multiply 32 times seven, the easiest way for me is I try to think of it in sections, one section at a time. So literally I use my hand and I block off one number. Seven times two is 14. So just like when you add, you will carry your one and bring down your four. Anything above my finger is added, so keep that in mind. Now that I've done that question, I'm gonna move over. Seven times three. What is seven times three? It is 21, but remember we're gonna add that one to it. So 21 plus one is 20. Two. So if I do 32 times 7, my answer is 224. Awesome, right? Now we're going to do another one. I'm going to do one more with you. Uh, two digit times one digit. 46 times 8. Okay, here we go. 8 times 6 is... 48, I'm gonna carry my four. Remember, I add that at the end. Eight times four is 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Added that together, you have 368. Awesome, right? Now we're gonna do a trickier one. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you're ready for this one. Now we're gonna do a trickier one. We're gonna do a three digit times a two digit number. So 465 times nine. Oh, nines, they're so hard. Go by one number at a time. Nine times five, go multiply straight up. Nine times five is 45, carry my four. Then I'm gonna to go to the next number. Nine times six is? 54, carry my four is, or add my four is 58, carry my five. Then I'm gonna do nine times four. Nine times four is 36, plus five, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. So my answer, 465 times nine is 4,185. We're gonna do one more of those problems just to see if you can do it. Are you ready? What I want you to do, do this problem with me. Then find the answer or write it down, then find the answer and then message your teacher in a comment and tell them what the answer was. Let's see if you got it right. Deal? Awesome, here you go. 300 and 17 times three. 317 times three. Now I'm gonna walk you through it, but I'm not gonna write my answer. I want you to think through it, figure out what you're gonna write, okay? So three times seven is? What would you carry? And what would you bring down? 3 times 1 is add what you would carry. What would you have carried? And finally, 3 times 3. What is 3 times 3? Here is a hint. Your answer will be less than 1,000. If you have an answer less than 1,000, you are correct. All right? All right, have a great e-learning day, guys. I'm really, really excited to get to work with you today. If you have any questions, please ask your teacher. This is something that you guys have learned, but sometimes you need a little bit more practice. 
don't feel like you um, need to be confused. If you don't understand, ask us, we'll help you. Also, if you have dice at home, roll the dice and multiply those numbers. If you have cards, you can do the same thing with cards. Find numbers around your house. What's your mailbox number? So use those numbers to multiply and see what you get. Math can be fun. Have a great day, guys.